Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It's your boy Delray Richardson, platinum songwriter, platinum artist. Uh, welcome back to Straight Game TV. I appreciate your time. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Uh, today I got another exclusive story uh, uh, with pictures to prove uh, confirmation of information. I would say around about two. Um, I had a case, a copyright case that I was fighting in and in, in, in involving some of my music. And um, I had filed the, um, the, the federal copyright case. I was representing myself, um, federal copyright case downtown L.A. Uh, at the federal courthouse. And so on this particular day, I was going downtown to actually file some paperwork. And as I was going downtown, um, going into the courthouse on this specific day, um, I ran into a guy who looked familiar. And you know, as I'm going through, you know, you put your keys in the thing in the little box and your phone and all of that and your paperwork and they slide it through the metal detector. You go through the metal detector and um, the guy who was actually, um, you know, wanting me down after was Russell Poole. Um, he, I guess he had got a job, you know, working as one of the, uh, the courthouse security guys. And um, and I once I spotted him, I told him, I was like, yo, I mean, I said, you know, you you the guy that uh, investigated the Biggie uh, uh, murder. He was like, yeah, you know. Um, I told him I was a friend of Tupac's and I had worked with Tupac and um, and he was he without provocation. He went into <laughs> his theory <laughs> on what he thought about, you know, the Biggie case and, and 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 the Tupac case. But, you know, he started off with the Biggie case. He was like, yeah, Suge Knight. And, you know, he did this and Suge Knight did that. And, he you know, Suge Knight is responsible and. And, you know, if I would have stayed on, you know, the case a little bit longer, I would have been able to solve it and so on and so forth. And so, you know, um, I knew one of his theories uh, was the uh, uh, Amir Muhammad uh, Nation of Islam thing. You know what I mean? And and with that, I knew um, that he didn't really know what he was talking about. I knew that it was just a theory of his that he he was he was operating under based on hearsay. Because, like I said, uh, first and foremost, um, the uh, the guy uh, real name was uh, 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 Billups, if, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, Bill, Billups was the guy's real name, but going under Mia Muhammad, and I was like, well, you know, yeah, I said, but you know, for me personally, I'm like, nah, I, I, no Nation of Islam member would 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 be involved in something like that. You know what I mean? From that perspective, and um, and he was like, well, you know. My investigation proved, and I'm like, well, you actually didn't prove anything. You know what I mean? Everything that you, you came up with was basically speculation. It was, you know, because like I said, no one was ever, you know, actually charged for that situation. And so, you know, he, he, he kept on going. And, and, and like I said, I knew, and as we know now, from uh, what the uh, former police officer, Greg Kading, uh, had you know, uncovered um, that that Russell Poole, his theories were just that they were they were conspiracy theories. Like I said, they they didn't base books and you know the uh, the movies City of Lies, you know, on on some of the stuff that he had came up with. Um, and like I said once again, it just proven uh, to be simply not true. And then recently, as of recently, they have a new documentary coming out uh, called The Last Man Standing, and I guess it's based loosely on what they have sp supposedly come up with new evidence and people speaking out and I haven't seen it yet. So I can't accurately comment on that. But like I said, once again, I know personally from talking to, to, to Russell Poole and you know, not only on that occasion at the courthouse, but like I said, he gave me his number. And like I said, he wanted to continue the conversation, you know, and he also wanted to take a picture with me and we took a picture and the picture's right here. And so, um, yeah. And then he went into like the, um, you know, the Tupac thing, you know, he was saying that, you know, Suge Knight set Tupac up and it was all a setup and, and so on and so forth. And I was like, wow, what do you what do you mean? I'm like, you know, on side of the fact that that Suge was in the car while the bullets were being hailed and thrown 
and and spit at the car um i'm like well suge would have had to you know it, it it had to be an elaborate setup you know what i mean and all of these other theories like i said you know he was going into the fact that um that they had told uh, none of the security guards to have any guns that day um which was widely known basically so you know he was grabbing on that information and trying to connect it to what he thought he knew and i said well you know at the end of the day um Shug would have to been willing to risk his life not only that because he received nine years for violation involving that incident in vegas just with the fight alone and so then on top of that knowing you know hopefully knowing that he was you know on probation i guess he really didn't think about it from that perspective but you go to the fact that he's in the car with tupac and then i asked him i said well what motive would suge knight have to kill tupac what would be his motive? And he said, money. I'm like, money how? I'm like, Tupac was his cash cow. You know, you don't you don't murder your cash cow for what? For long money? For what? What 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 did he have? What? A life insurance policy? And and none of them actually prove that that was the case. And for, as a matter of fact, uh, Tupac had a, a five figure, uh, I think a, a, a six figure or five figure, uh, uh, um, I think, no, it was a five figure uh, life insurance policy. And his sister, Setua, was the beneficiary. That's the only uh, uh, life insurance policy that I was aware of that Tupac had. And so, once again, Russell Poole, in our conversation, he couldn't. He could give me his theory, but he couldn't offer me a motive or a concrete motive as to why the situation would be as he said it was. And so, with that that being said, like, yeah, you know, I kind of crushed his 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 theories and like I said he didn't really know what he was talking about and he was it was like you know going off of that that cops hunch type thing you know you know I'm going off of you know a hunch that I'm feeling you know what I mean and not any real concrete evidence or anything like that and me being a little uh, a, a bit uh, aware of the law and 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 how things work it's not what you know it's what you can prove you know what I mean or what you think you know you know what I mean it's what you can prove so you know, it was interesting to 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 talk to the guy. You know what I mean? He was a nice guy. You know what I mean? Didn't come across as arrogant or anything like that. But I can say that he was a passionate guy in, involved in his work, and and I'm sure he was good at what he did. I think he investigated over uh, 156 homicides. So, um, yeah. So, like I said, you know, not to discredit his career, who he was, may he rest in peace. Um, and like I said, he he also had told me that he was he was writing his own book. And he was going to put, you know, some of those, um, some of those theories, or the investigation that he had, you know, he was he had conducted when he was working with the LAPD. He was going to put some of those in his book. And so, um, yeah, it, it was really interesting talking to the guy. But like I said, I debunked a lot of his theories because, like I said, if you know, and I, it, it was just it was far fetched. It was far fetched, you know. The, the, uh, the Bill Ups, uh, uh, Amir Muhammad thing, um, the Suge Knight setting Tupac up and and, you know, because like I said, you have to ignore all of the other evidence to to come up with that. Now, why? You know, so basically you saying that Suge Knight was working with both sides like, OK, we're going and, and it's 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 preposterous, man. It, yeah. You know, it basically was it was that. So. Like I said, yo, your boy Delray, uh, I just wanted to share that exclusive. I've never shared that story about the conversation that I had with Russell Poole and him trying to convince me uh, that his theories uh, uh, were, the, were, the, were the facts of, of each of those cases. Like I say, may Biggie rest in peace, Tupac rest in peace, and uh, may Russell Poole rest in peace. And like I said, once again, uh, it's your boy Delray, straight game, uh, uh, hit like, hit share, um, be back to share some more true facts and uh, exclusive information. Your boy, Straight Game.